everyone today we will do one practical of class 12 which is how to find the resistivity of the material of the web by the principle of Winston Bridge so let's start the experiment so to do the experiment some apparatus are needed first one is C this is the DC power supply resistance box galvanometer resistor coil jockey plug key and 100 cm wire which is mounted on a scale and two terminals are there which is written as A and this terminal is the B ok these are the all apparatus to do the experiment so see how I am connecting first I am connecting one terminal of the resistance box to to the positive of the galvanometer this red color means positive and black is the negative so one terminal is connected to the resistance box and another terminal is connected to the positive of the galvanometer ok this is the first connection second connection is take one more wire and which is connected to this terminal means where we have connected this one to one terminal of the resistor coil ok here I am connecting that one you can connect over here also same terminal because these two terminals are connected by the wire ok so this end will connect to the one terminal of the resistor coil ok second take one more wire this terminal means another terminal of the coil which is connected to B B means one terminal of the 100 centimeter wire the second terminal of the 100 centimeter wire where it is written as B ok this is B so here I have connected B to the another terminal of the resistor coil now the jockey take one more wire and obviously for jockey you will take the long wire so one terminal I am connecting to the jockey and see one terminal I have connected to the jockey and another terminal I am connecting to the negative of the voltmeter so this is negative so negative of the voltmeter ok negative of the voltmeter now see this one is left and the A terminal is left so take the wire so connect them means so can take one more wire and connect this terminal second terminal of the resistance box to to the A A means which one you see this one is A so here I am connecting ok now I didn't give the power supply so that one now I have to connect so I am taking one more wire so positive of the wire positive of the battery I am connecting one wire to the positive of the battery positive of the battery to the terminal A so to A I am to A here it is A so at the terminal of A two wires will be there keep it in your mind so two wires next I am taking one more wire because the negative terminal is left so the negative terminal I am connecting by one wire means one terminal of the wire is connected to the negative of the battery and this terminal is left so this terminal I will connect to the key plug key plug key
ओके डन एंड एंड दिस टर्मिनल इज लेफ्ट सो फ्रॉम दिस टर्मिनल वन वेयर आई एम कनेक्टिंग टू द अनदर टर्मिनल ऑफ द प्लाग की एंड द सेकेंड टर्मिनल ऑफ द वेयर आई एम कनेक्टिंग टू बी बी मीन्स दिस वन इज बी बी सो टू बी आई एम कनेक्टिंग सो एट ए एट ए टू वेयर्स विल बी देयर एट ए टू वेयर्स विल बी कनेक्टेड एंड एट बी ऑल्सो एट बी ऑल्सो टू वेयर्स विल बी कनेक्टेड टू केयर एट बी टू वेयर्स विल बी कनेक्टेड ओके नाउ विल स्टार्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट now how to check the circuit is connected properly or not first take the jockey and see in the galvanometer the jockey is lying on the zero mark means it is showing zero so take the jockey and first you have to switch on give the power supply so here i have given the power supply now i will check just when the jockey is touch at the left side See, I am touching the jockey at the left side. It is giving the left deflection. Okay, it is giving left deflection. Left. So when I will touch at the right side, that jockey will give the right deflection. If it gives the right deflection, then that means the circuit is connected properly. Okay. First, take two ohm resistor from the resistance box. So I have plugged out two ohm resistor. Now you have to find the null point means at the point where the galvanometer shows no deflection. So first I am touching at the left side. See it is giving left deflection. If we touch at the right side, then it is giving right deflection. So that means one point will come where it it will show no deflection. So that point we have to find. That point is called the null point. See I am finding. look so at this point it is showing no deflection means it is 57.4 at 57.4 it is showing no deflection means the reading will be 57.4 now i am writing for 2 ohm so in the column of r you write 2 ohm and in y you write 57.4 This is the value of y. Then we will find the value of x by doing y by r. Means x will be fifty-seven point four divided by r means two. So this is how we will get the value of x. After that, the same procedure you have to follow by taking four, six, eight, ten. Total five readings you have to take one, two, three, four, five. So first you will. Take two ohm from the resistance box. After that, four ohm. After that, six ohm. And in all cases, you have to find the null point, means where the galvanometer will show no deflection. So, at each point, each value of R, we will get value of X, value of Y, and value of X. So, we will plot the graph. Now, by putting the value of X and Y, the graph will come like this. Means the slope will be negative. That value of slope you will put in the equation rho equals to minus pi d square s by 200. So here slope is minus and one minus is there. So the total answer will come in positive. And what is d? D is the diameter of the wire. Means here one specimen wire will be given. This is the specimen wire which will be given. And you have to find the diameter of the specimen wire by screw gauge. That procedure you know you have read in class. 11 otherwise you can see the description in the description i will give the link how to find the diameter of the wire by the by using the screw gauge okay so here we will get the value of rho by putting the value of d and s by minus by d square s by 200 okay this is all about the practical thank you